Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Maridalia and this is Marith Her. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. I make fashion content and if you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and also click that bell notification so you guys are notified when I upload new videos. So today I will be talking to you guys about my handbags. Um, I love handbags. I have a handbag addiction and I have a lot of secondhand lightly used handbags. Um, I've only bought two designer handbags full price. Well, I my my Kate Spade, but also like higher end, my Neverfull and my Gucci Marma. I got those from the store um, and I paid retail price, but I have a few secondhand pre-owned pieces. And the thing about pre-owned pieces is you can find something that is in great condition and literally you will pay such a small amount of money. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to get started. I'm not going to make you guys wait. So I have them all hanging right here so I could get right to it. So most recently I bought this Francis Valentine. This bag retail for um, close closer to the 300s, but I thought it was a cute little summer bag. So I got this baby for the summer. If you guys saw my video of all the new pieces that I bought for my new spring wardrobe, you guys will um this bag will seem familiar because you guys have seen it on that video so it has the gold hardware it's a very cute little spring summer bag so i love this handbag and i paid uh, i don't remember the exact like the exact price but it was definitely less than 80 dollars if i'm not mistaken maybe it was closer to 50 which isn't bad considering that it retail for like 275 dollars or something like that the next one is this vintage dolce and gabbana purse um as you guys know vintage handbags are very on trend right now and i saw this one and i fell in love with it it is a little small but it is spacious enough for me to fit all my essentials and it has the leopard print it's from that era if you guys remember and it has gold hardware and rhinestones. I absolutely adore this bag. I think it is the cutest thing ever. And I am obsessed with it. So this bag is vintage, but it was selling for $275. As you guys can tell from the price, it cost a lot of money when it was in retail. And then they had it on sale 50% off plus promo and I paid 75 75 60 dollars for this bag which isn't bad at all um it was on a special 50% off that was a few months ago it was in the fall and this was definitely a huge steal so the thing about vintage bags is if you have one sometimes you don't know how much money you have sitting in your closet and how cheap you can get something that's designer. This is not even the Diffusion, it's not the DNG, it's Dolce & Gabbana, so it's the main brand. So I love this bag and I got it for such a great price. My next bag is this little vintage Miu Miu. Vintage bags, like I just said, are on trend. The cute little handbags that you just hang on your shoulder from the late 90s, early 2000s. And this bag has silver hardware and little rhinestones and um, black leather details. And it also is denim and these little pockets in the front. I love the shape, I think it's a very cute bag. So this bag probably retailed um, close to $1,000 when it first dropped at the stores years ago and i bought this handbag i think it was like 125 dollars that i paid for it which isn't bad at all and i think i also use a promo code so my next bag is this loafo randall tote i got this like a year and a half ago it's all leather and it has the fringe and it has a little snap closure and it has a removable detachable interior pocket that you can detach from here because it's clipped on and it also came i bought it used but it brought the little pouch that it comes in so it's like a little envelope pouch however i did move and i have no clue where the pouch is i actually listed this on poshmark because i have a lot of black handbags 
and then I didn't end up selling it because I'm like, do I want to get rid of it? I, I don't think I want to get rid of it. I think it's a nice, like if you need a big purse in the fall, I think it's a nice bag to just throw all your essentials in or if you're traveling and I don't want to use my never full, I think it's good to have a good big black purse. And the French is just so trendy and stylish and hip. So I think I'm going to stick with this baby. Let me know in the comments below. Should I sell it on Poshmark or should I keep it? The next bag is my Valentino cashmere handbag. It's cashmere with leather straps and it has the Valentino V in silver right here. Um, and it says Valentino on the other side of the V in silver hardware and it has a little pocket in the interior. So I bought this handbag on special as well or it's leather, the base is leather as well like the straps. Um, I love a good red bag because it's a nice pop of color and this bag was reselling secondhand for a hundred and something dollars but it was on special so I think I paid if I'm not mistaken around 50 to 60 dollars for this Valentino handbag and the last but not least is my Fendi baguette as you guys know Fendi is having Fendi has been having a huge moments in the last couple of years um, a lot of songs have been made with the Fendi um, references in it. Um, Nicki Minaj put the Fendi prints on the map when they first released that collection. And then it just became so popular so fast. So because of that, people started to get more interested in their vintage pieces. So the thing is that this Fendi baguette, these were the bags that Sarah Jessica Parker's character used to use on Sex in the City. Um, and you know, it's just like a classic early 2000s purse and these bags have been very popular and the demand went up a lot in the last couple of years the crazy thing about this bag is that i paid about 150 dollars for it and on the same site that i ordered this bag from um if you look now if i'm not mistaken the last time that i checked they are selling the same exact handbag for close to six or seven hundred dollars if i'm not mistaken around six seven hundred dollars so this is a purse that came out almost 20 years ago um it became popular again and when the popularity had just begun i bought it for less than 200 dollars um less than 150 dollars and now all of a sudden since everybody wants it and it's so popular people are paying close to $700 for it. So it goes to show that you never know what you have in your closet. You can have something and then in 15 years, you can make a good amount of money from it. That's why they call it investment pieces. They're expensive handbags, but it's some pieces, you know, they go out of trend, but they're still a classic good piece. And everyone likes a good vintage moment, just like this bag. So. You know, it's good to know that if I ever don't want it, I can always sell it and bank on it basically three or four times more than what I paid for it, which is crazy to me. Um, but I, I'm not going to be getting rid of this baby for a really, really long time. It's a good, just simple black handbag. Um, it is the this material, so it fits a lot of stuff and it has different pockets zip pockets and an open one in the center it has the fendi name here and it has a classic fendi f on the hardware in the front at the snap and the leather and it is you can fix it here if you want it shorter if you want it longer so i think that i'm gonna stick on to this bag for a long time because it's just a nice little black purse I'm wearing silver accessories or whatever it's a good bag to have um so i'm not gonna be getting rid of this one for a long time but it just blows my mind that right like soon after i bought it how much the price escalated if i would have waited a little longer to take the plunge and buy this bag i would probably not have been able to afford it because i wouldn't have wanted to pay that amount of money for a used handbag but a lot of people do so just so you guys know investment pieces so thank you guys for watching um I, if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments below um what you guys want to see more of and if you guys want outfit of the day fix don't forget to follow me right here
on Instagram at MarriedHer. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.